So if you are like me, you want to use SSH to open up a remote command line interface to a remote server. And to do this, what you would normally do is type SSH, a username that you want to log in with, um, your host name, I'm just going to use .amazon.com because I use AWS, and that would be the basics of it. You would press enter. If this was a real host, it would actually work. It's not going to resolve the host name because it doesn't exist, but then you'd enter your password. And this is all fine and good, um, but if you're like me, you might want to use identity files so you don't have to type a password and it's a little bit more secure. And then in that case, your command would look something like this. You would SSH your username, the host name. This is a long host name because it's an EC2 instance. Um, dash identity file and then the location of your identity file. And this works fine. As you can see, I was just using dash right here to autocomplete it to my terminal. Or you can obviously, let's see if we, if we open up my CSHRC config file. A lot of developers, what they'll do is um, do it, they'll alias this command. So in this case, I aliased the SSH command to just devbox. So with that in your CSHRC file, you could just type the command and it would run the SSH command. But there's an easier way. And the way to do that is to create an SSH config file. And what this is, is just a generic file in the um, in your home directories .ssh folder and dot because it's a hidden folder. So as you can see, I'm already in here. And if I list it here, you can see I have the config file. If you don't have it, you can just you can just create it by touching it here. But if we open up this config file, I'm just going to open it up in Sublime because it's a little bit easier to see on the video. You specify entries. So in this case, I named my dev box just dev box, and you can specify the, the username you want to log in under, the host name you're trying to log into, and the identity file. And if you remember, I'll just put it up here. If you remember, if you remember that SSH command, if you're doing it on the command line, you would type SSH, the username, which is right here, the host name, host name, and then dash I for where the identity file is. So you don't have to type a password. But you can specify all of this in the config file and you can specify multiple hosts. So for example, I have devbox here. Um, I have another host, for example, maybe I want to SSH. I changed my default SSH port. I can add that in here as well. And there's a couple other things you can add um, in this config file. So add the entry, save it. And then if we go back to the terminal, if I wanted to log into that devbox entry, devbox entry all I would have to do is type SSH devbox and I'm in. And by typing that, I'm saying SSH into the host specified by this particular entry. And obviously you can have as many entries as you want, different, specify different options. Anyway, that's a super quick tip. I don't really have anything more to say about it. I'll leave a link in the description for an article that goes over some of the more advanced features, but that's about it. I just found out about this a couple of weeks ago. I probably should have known it beforehand, but it's great. I would recommend checking it out. And as always, if you have a question, leave it in the comments, found the video helpful consider subscribing because I do videos like this fairly often. I'm trying to do it more often in the new year as well. And I'll catch you in the new year. Peace.